What's up, guys? It's time for us to get this party started. Me, Missy, Bobby, we're running today, boy. We're headed southbound. We gotta go pick four up. Then we're going down to North Wilkesboro, North Kakalaki. And then, uh, hey, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna run some, we gotta run some north to south this week. Um, got a commitment on Monday I gotta be at. And then, uh, yeah, you know, so. Today we're going to see what Missy's all about. He's loving it. The bed's up a little bit higher so he can just, you know I mean, just chill. Um, but we'll see if he makes the seat over. I did make a mistake. I'm going to try it, see how it works. But like I said, the bed's a little bit higher. So which means I can't move my seat back as far because of the mattress. And uh, also he's higher. Like the mattress now is... Hey, let's see if you can see it. You're about four inches above the console. And before, it was like kind of flush. But the, the idea and the goal was to get storage below it, which I will show you here in a little bit. I achieved that. I have 12 inches underneath, which fits a lot of stuff. Um, I guess if I didn't have an eight-inch mattress, I wouldn't have this problem, but big boy gotta be comfy so we'll go up here there's a truck in my dad's i gotta grab up real quick it's going to north kakalaki and then uh we're gonna be vlogging today let's see how we roll see you in a little bit tell him hi bobby no over here tell him hi he said hi oh, say hi all right we'll see you in a couple minutes <laughs> it's your boy yeah let me try this again without a blooper and screwing shit up huh so, first of all, if y'all are on Facebook, you already see Continue on that route. your boy is always the center of drama. That there is just what it is. Fun and games and playing with the trolls. You know what I mean? Like, there's a certain group full of trolls. They got a little minion that has had probably four different names on my channel. You know, Jared Smith just keeps coming back and gobble, gobble, gobble. But, it's all right, I love him long time. He gives me lots and lots of um, subscribers, views, and you know, I love his time. So, why did I buy this truck? And if y'all don't know why this, is this video is happening, then it is what it is, so. Let's move on. So, I bought the truck because um, the, as I said before, every year is something, whether it's a transmission, it's a motor, or whatever. Um, you know, and there's a lot of guys that like to troll me that are not even in car hauling or hot shotting and don't know the first thought, thought process of what we do around here. So the reason I don't have a semi because I would prefer a semi is that the state I live in would have taken me months to get, um, get my restrictions taken off because I've done everything on my own, bootstrapping, uh, you know, got the license in my own trucks. I didn't go to the schools. I went to Shelly for the testing, but that was it. So when the truck broke down, I had two choices. Spend the money and put a long block in it, which I didn't want to do because I didn't go through the whole motor to know if there was chunks of metal through the turbo. That turbo could be trashy. And it could all be trash. And until I had the time to go through it, using any part off of that motor is not a viable option. So if I'm looking at replacing everything, I'm looking at 12 to 15 grand. Okay? But now I could put a used motor in it for about four grand. It may have 100, it may have 50, 150, whatever. But I run my trucks too hard to do that. 
If I'm putting a motor in with a hundred or even 50,000 miles, you know, I'm starting the unknown in a bad situation. I don't know how it was ran. I don't know how it was maintained. And all I know is I'm getting ready to put it through hell. Okay? So, that was an option, but was not an option. Because, frankly, I'm quick. I'm sick of working on these trucks. Sick of it. You know, it's... I spent too much time, too much money. Um, you know, and it's just... It, it could go to other stuff. When you sit down and really look at the maintenance and what I spend, then it equals out more, depending on the months, obviously, the same or more than a new truck. So I was at the point where if I didn't get a new truck, I wasn't running. Kind of like a little spoiled baby, you know, which like half of the uh, half of the hotshot truck and Facebook page, you know what I mean? Little entitled brats. That's what I sounded like, and that's what it was. And that's it, you know, um, because when you break down numbers, twenty-four months times twenty-seven hundred is right around sixty-two thousand dollars. So, after my down payment and making my payment for two years, that leaves me enough money to A, pay it off, or B, put that towards a new truck. Um, you know, so that that's the plan. The plan is this truck will be two to 250,000 miles. I have the customer base built up. I now have the know-how, the discipline, and you know I can't. I know where my business model is going and what it is. So, in two years, two hundred fifty thousand miles, I should be ready for a semi. And the reason I say two years is. I need time. There's a couple things that I need to add and subtract from the business plan. And it, it takes time to find your niche and get into your area, you know? So, that's why I have a new truck right now. It, it's... I wouldn't recommend everybody go out and buy a new truck. I still recommend lightly pre-owned vehicles. Like, you buy a 19 or 18, well, if you're buying a cabin chassis, I would recommend the 19s because, and now they still don't have to be new, they can be used 19s, because of the redesigned engine, the block, and you know all all that stuff that they've redesigned the only issue with this truck that may be an issue they're saying it's different but I don't know if that's true yet is the CP4 they're saying that's a different pump but uh, I don't really know so that is why I'm doing what I'm doing so we're going to, um, I'm going to do some more, I'll do some reviews on the truck. Um, there's some things I do and don't like about it, uh, but I'm getting a lot of comments on why'd you buy this, why didn't you do this, why didn't you do that, and uh, that's what this channel's about. You know, this channel's about helping, you know, people that are up and coming, you know, but where the problem lies is a lot of these guys that a can't get into it they're scared to get into it or they're already into it and they're scared of competition you know they come at me for helping you guys you know because it takes a person with big balls and i said it big balls 
to leave their nine to five, put their whole livelihood at risk, and not knowing where their next paycheck's coming from. You know, and that is the difference between an entrepreneur, a successful person, or just an employee slash follower. And 90% of the hate comes from the people that can't do it, aren't willing to do it, or their spouse won't let them. You know, so I'm cool with it. I love it. I eat it up as much as they think it triggers me. Dude, that makes my day go even better. As some of y'all can see, I'm sure. So, we're going to stay strong. I'm going to teach y'all. And I'm going to keep teaching you. And I may even send you to where the quote-unquote veterans that know it all, where they get their business from. You know what I mean? Like, there's a... There's so many different commodities that you can haul in hot shot trucking. But that's for another video. So, do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding ding. Now, if you think the bear bell is the ding ding and you've already rung it, change that thumbs up to the ding ding and smash it smash it home run and if y'all think I'm joking go look at how many thumbs down my video has when they found out I was getting a new truck oh 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 it's cause your boy's here your boy's gonna teach and we ain't going nowhere so like I said like share subscribe hit that ding ding and I will see you tomorrow peace